You want to start running a successful campaign on Google Ads so that you can start generating leads for your business and do so profitably and successfully? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the successful campaign types and strategies that you should be using if you're going to launch on Google Ads. And before you spend a dime, make sure you watch this entire video. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know so that you don't waste money and then you can start generating leads as quickly as possible. I'm Chelsea So I have been managing Google Ads campaigns since 2004 when I launched my own business online. Since then, I've helped hundreds of companies, probably similar to yours, to get success on Google Ads, to lower their costs, increase leads, and improve return on investment in very short amount of time. I'm confident I can help you launch a successful campaign and strategy from scratch on Google Ads. And in this video, we're gonna dive right into it. Now, the first thing to keep in mind when you are launching a successful campaign on Google Ads is focusing on bottom of the funnel audiences. Now, when I'm talking about bottom of the funnel, I'm talking about the people who are ready to buy. They are aware that they have a problem that they're looking to solve or a need that they want to address and they are ready to spend money to address that need or solve that problem. And so there are X number of people in that bucket at, in that stage of the buying journey and you wanna make sure that you are capturing as much of that audience as you possibly can and getting them into your atmosphere, into your website and business and hopefully on the phone with you. The first campaigns that you wanna launch on Google, Google is really great at targeting bottom of the funnel audiences. And so that's really where search intent can lead you to because if you're targeting someone based on what they're typing into Google, they're going to Google, they're looking for something specific, it might be an answer to a question, but it might be, you know, a specific service provider or a specific company in a specific location for what they need. And so you can target those people based on their searches. And that is bottom of the funnel. That is high intent search phrases. And that's what you want to construct a search campaign for. So your first campaign should be targeted to those bottom of the funnel, high intent keywords so that you can maximize and hopefully capture as much of that audience as humanly possible. The next campaign that I'm gonna to recommend to you is a branded campaign. A branded campaign has keywords in it that are your company name. Why would you do that? Especially because you're probably ranking number one for your own name, you're probably ranking in local listings, and you know you don't have any competitors bidding on you, hopefully, so why would you bid on your, your company name? Well, there's lots of benefits to doing that. Not only do you get special insights and analytics if you actually bid on your keywords, for your brand name, but you also get the ability to customize what people see when they Google you. So your organic listing is very limited, right? It's like restricted to what your website has on it and it's hard to update. You can't test anything, you know, what what resonates better with people than others. You can't direct specific searches intentionally, like if somebody's searching for your name plus reviews, you know, you could send them to a specific page or your name and prices, but you can be very, very controlling with a Google ad with your branded name as a keyword. You can also take up a lot more space on the Google search results. So that's great. So, you know, if somebody scrolls down, they're going to see you and they're going to see you again and hopefully see you again. And then finally by the competitor. Also, you're fortifying your top ranking because if you're not bidding on your keyword, your branded keyword term, a competitor can easily bid on your term and then start ranking above you. Probably not going to show up 100% of the time if they do that. And uh, it might be more expensive for them than for you, but somebody can easily do that. And if you look at most major brands on Google, they bid on their own keyword terms. So if you look at big box stores or software companies, SaaS companies do this all the time because competitors bid on each other's names. And so it's quite a strategy. It's, it's offensive and defense. But the main reason to do it is it's so affordable. It's like you get all these benefits. It's very low cost. You have really high ranking and quality scores for your own branded keywords. So if you bid on your terms, I mean, clicks can cost pennies literally it can be very 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 inexpensive to do that and so if you're spending a hundred dollars a month or five hundred dollars a month to do that it's really not bad etc 
expensive for the benefit that you get. The main benefit I've seen is the ability to test. So especially for larger companies that have quite a brand presence, they have a lot of brand traffic, you can do a lot of ad testing on that traffic and you can get great discoveries on what is resonating with people, what unique selling propositions or benefits, you know, to, to highlight that, you know, which ones work the best over others. So it's a really great opportunity just for testing in itself. So the number two campaign I would recommend for you is a keyword campaign focusing on your branded keywords. Now the next campaign you might be thinking should be a competitor campaign, also known as a conquest campaign. That may or may not work for you. Sometimes it does really well. Sometimes it's just really expensive clicks that do not convert because you're like, hey, I wanted Home Depot. I search for Home Depot. I don't want Lowe's, you know, so it depends. But it might be worth trying. It's usually more expensive, but sometimes it can work out really well. It just depends on the brand loyalty that people have to your competitors. If they're not really brand loyal, maybe they're using a competitor name just for that service that they're wanting. You know, they don't really care who it is, but they're like, yeah, that service that they do because, you know, that that brand has spent a lot of money on brand branding and recognition. It might work. So sometimes it does work. Sometimes it fails miserably. That's something to test. So that's not my recommendation for number three. My number three recommendation would be PMAX. PMAX also stands for Performance Max Campaign. This is a unique campaign type that someone newly introduced, me, I think maybe a year or two ago. And what it does is it takes all of Google's networks, so they have Gmail, Search, YouTube, Maps, all their display, all their different campaign types, and it puts it all into one, and it's a full funnel campaign. And so you can use video, images, text ads, and it's audience-based. So this campaign, you know, Google's worked really, really hard to improve their AI, to improve their targeting, and to really make it, you know, a lower barrier to entry for people who are trying to get into Google Ads. And so, Especially if you have a successful search campaign that's been running for a little while. And actually, you should wait to launch PMAX until after you have generated sufficient conversion goals completion for at least 30 to 90 days. If you wait 90 days and you launch a PMAX, it's going to perform so much better because Google will already have that time to learn who is converting, who is becoming leads for you and so it'll know who to go after. So launch a performance max campaign. They're pretty easy. It's a bit black box, so they don't give you a lot of levers and pulleys to work with. You just kind of feed them, you know, your best ads, your best targeting, and you can use customer match lists. You can use custom segments and search terms for audiences. And so I would recommend doing that. Launch a Performance Max campaign. That's gonna help you to drive and scale even further for your business. The next campaign that I'm gonna recommend that you launch for a successful full funnel, full performance based Google Ads strategy would be a retargeting campaign. And video retargeting can be super effective. You need video creatives in order to do that successfully, but you're not limited to video. You can also use demand gen or you can use the good old display network. Launch a remarketing campaign. It may work really well. It may totally not work. I do see that maybe half the time but it's worth trying it because it makes sense. If somebody's been to your website before and you know, people get interrupted all the time or they're not just ready yet, you know, they still need to, you know, take a measurement or talk to their wife or, you know, whatever it may be, talk to their business partner. So if they see your ad again, oh yeah, I meant to do that. Then they could take that next step. Uh, it's really great to do. It also can help to overcome any objections people have. We're like, oh, I didn't know they also do that. Hey, I need that, you know? So you can feature different aspects in your ads that that person might not have picked up on your website. So your website probably has a lot of information on it, lots of great things about yourself. And you can really highlight and feature things and retarget ads and they're super super targeted because they are directed to people who have already taken a specific action on your website whether they've just visited or they've taken certain steps they've added to cart any of those different things and so remarketing definitely should be explored and tested and just be smart about it so you want to set up smart targeting and 
smart ad, take that opportunity and use it well. Don't just blanket someone or everybody who comes to your website with the same ad, it's the same ad that they saw, you know, when they first got to your website. You wanna be smart about it and a bit more strategic, but it's definitely something to test and to see if that works for you. The next strategy that I'm gonna to recommend to you is, we already talked about this before, but a video campaign. Video is super effective and super affordable. It's definitely something you should be trying and dipping your toe into. You do need that video creative though. So if you can get really good creative, Google has some tools where you can make your own, you know, make a video with their tools. I don't think they're that great. You really need something. It doesn't have to be like high quality, you know, a Super Bowl worthy commercials or anything. But you know, even you just sitting down and talking and just some type of introductory video for people can be great. So anything that can help introduce people more to what you do and why they should work with you, it's a really great strategy and test it on YouTube, see how it does. You can also use that same video in your remarketing campaigns, so it's super useful. But a campaign on YouTube is super easy to launch, you don't need a high budget, and you can even just start with a retargeting audience. But get that going, make that a priority, and you will see great results. Now I do offer a complimentary audit, you do have to apply and qualify for it, but if you'd like me to take a look at what strategy you have put together, I'd be more than happy to take a look at that. Click the link below in the description and you can apply to receive that totally for free. And if you have any questions, you can also drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer those. Otherwise, you can check out this video where I explain exactly how I do a deep dive audit of accounts and how I can discover wasted ad spending and opportunities for scaling that you might not have caught. So check out that video if you're interested and I will see you on the next video.